All right, welcome back to Thrive America and our in-depth conversation uh, with Alan Yurick, a uh, good friend, and uh, recently took our improv class here. and um, Enjoyed you can, it. You can tell. <laughs> uh, Alan has uh, had an interesting, interesting life and um, uh, has a tremendous experience when it comes to understanding what what makes and breaks a business. And he's here to here to share with with us uh, uh, what he has put together, which is called Ten Killer Secrets in Developing a Powerful Business. And if you've missed any of the uh, installation so far, please please make sure to go back and take a look at some of our prior discussions. Um, the, the next point we're going to talk about here, Alan, is, is a point you've made, which is work with people that are compatible. Um, uh, educate, educate me on what this means to you. Well, we've all heard the term that life's very short, you know, and things like that. When you work with people that are compatible, I think chemistry is a big part of, of growing organizations. When, when you don't like someone, their lifestyle or something like that, it's just, it's very difficult to, to get back that past that, we're just humans, you know, and things like that. You might say, hey, I'm, I'm bigger than that, but, and, and, and you are, but it's just very difficult when, when you're not incompatible with, with the people that you work with. So I, I just don't think that, I, I think that your business has a better chance of thriving if it is, uh, if you work with people that you like. It doesn't mean that, that you don't have respectful disagreements on the business side of it. That's, that's nothing to do with it. I, I think that you should have, like I said before, you should have respectful and uh, uh, dis uh, not, not disagreements, I, I think it's more of uh, opinions mm -hmm. on, on how the business should go. Mm -hmm. But at least you know bottom line, you, you go out there and, and after you're done you go out and have a beer with them, you know, and things like that. I think that that's very important, that you still remain uh, friends or acquaintances. Would, would um are you talking about um, your people in your advisory board? Are you talking about your employees? Are you talking about uh, even your clients when you're talking about? Talk about them all. Okay. okay. I, I th at the very beginning, clients, I think that you have to uh, have at least a trust of them and a respect for them and what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, and your employees, certainly, you have to have mm -hmm. that and you have, to, uh, you, you have to like them as, as human beings. Mm -hmm. In, in addition, and also the, the, uh, uh, the just all, all the different areas, like, like your vendors, mm -hmm. the vendors you do business with, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and things like that. You should have a, a, a like, the, you should like them, you know, or, or at least understand where they're coming from. You might not like some of the things that they, mm -hmm. that, that they do, in, but uh, at least you understand where they're coming from. I, I personally have, have an action coach, uh, business coach, and uh, mm -hmm. His 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 take on this is so interesting. He doesn't really, really um, allow his his uh, himself to to um, he doesn't choose his, he chooses his clients. He doesn't let his clients choose him, which is I thought was a very aggressive approach um, to, uh, to to building a business. Um, but I I think, I think it's great. Another, yeah, uh, another element to this is is uh, I, I guess creating a, a, a like you said a value statement. And uh, a culture that attracts these kinds of uh, compatibility, these compatibility people into your organization. The, yeah, you mentioned earlier. certainly, certainly that you, you need to attract mm -hmm. those people. It doesn't mean that they have to be like-minded to you in their um, in their business uh, uh, acumen, but the, but they should be like-minded to you in their their human qualities, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I, I just think that that's very important, and that's what I was meaning by that question, mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So, um, which uh, uh, which definitely it sounds like you're promoting diversity, healthy healthy opinions, healthy oh, debates in, in the business meetings. It works. Uh, I've seen it. You know, <laughs> I, I've seen it so often that mm -hmm. you know. But then you 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 go out of your meeting, and you're all one single mind because you've mm -hmm. all come to the the conclusion that you came to. Mm -hmm. but, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you share the same value systems yeah. and, uh, and, and somewhat of, of the beliefs. Um, so let's, let's move on to here to um, uh, a, a, another valuable point here, uh, which is form key business alliances, partnerships, and affiliations. Uh, what do you mean by this? Well, I think that the, the, at the very beginning, instead of uh, just going directly from one customer to another customer, 
if you form the alliances and the affiliations and the uh, uh, partnerships with other firms, that can take you a lot further. Like, if, for example, if you form, uh, form an alliance with a uh, financial uh, institution, maybe a bank or something like that, they want to promote you. And so promote, promoting you within their client base is a great thing. And so you want to form as many of these as possible. So what they can do is that they can take that and, and they can um, uh, uh, promote you to their particular uh, uh, clients and things like that. And that's what I was meaning by that, mm -hmm. is really getting out there and looking at all the different partnerships that you can have. And also, the reverse to that is you promoting their particular mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, clients. Mm -hmm. if, if someone needs a bank saying, by the way, mm -hmm. you know, this bank has done a great job for me. And so mm -hmm. it, it, it's a two-way street, mm -hmm. you know, uh, going back and forth on that. So you want to do that. And that's kind of net weaving to me. Yeah. I know for me, when I just first started my business, I, I had no idea that there were networking events where business people would attend. I was very naive in, in, in even knowing about the Chamber of Commerce. But I started going to the, to the chamber and um, quickly, uh, uh, quickly learned the rules of the road and how, and, and how people socialize and how people talked about their business and um, um, began to um, just attract like-minded people and so forth. Yeah. And, uh, people that you liked. People that I liked. Uh, and you respected for their business, I can mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, exactly. I, I think it's great. And, and I think, though, one thing I've... I, I got I got, got caught for a while just being friends with a lot of and I, they're still friends, but I think there's something to be said about um, going to your friend who's your friend at the chamber or here and there and say, hey, let's form an let's form an official alliance together. I've got this list of people, or I I, I market to this group of people, you market to that group of people. Let's form a uh, somewhat of a handshake on on an alliance system. Yeah, would you? Would you would you think that's a well? It depends if it's a, if it's appropriate. Sometimes you don't need to go to that particular uh, 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 length, but but if you do something like that, then certainly put it all on your website, mm -hmm. you know, or something like that that you form a partnership with it because it might add credibility to what you're doing, mm -hmm. and might add credibility to what they're doing mm -hmm. because it's broadening their uh, uh, their reach, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what you're trying to do is broaden your reach because at the like I said before, in the third mm -hmm. stage, what you're trying to do is you're trying to expand your sales and marketing, mm -hmm. and this is one way to uh, expand your what, sales. And, and this is a, I think this is a great, just a, a great secret because ah, it, it, going to a, becoming a member of a chamber I know is relatively inexpensive, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and you can go to the downtown chamber or maybe a, a rural, more rural one, and start there. Um, but people are thinking, oh, how am I going to market my business? How am I going to get the word out there? Well, this is a great you – can, you can, I think some other groups like uh, there's Power Corps and there's oh, sure. B&I and these other great organizations are another great Absolutely. launching there's pad. Absolutely. Vistage. There's so mm -hmm. many different groups. There's mm -hmm. uh, TAB, which is the, the alternative board. Uh, there's just all kinds of groups. There's all there. kinds of different organizations. And, and also uh, it, some of them go by gender. You mm -hmm. know, there is women in technology mm -hmm. and, and uh, there's – here in town in Atlanta, there's about 120 uh, people that go to each of the women in technology organizations. So sure. maybe if you have an industry, uh, industry, if you're, you know, I don't know if you're, if you write books or whatever that may be, you could type in your industry and then type in uh, events and, or networking events and just see what comes up or look in the paper um, and so forth. So what a Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just just one caution though. Okay. Uh, make sure you don't do it on the first thing. Uh, the first time that you meet someone, say, "Hey, let's do an affiliation partnership." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah let, let, let's <laughs> let's you know maybe have some coffee with them and just you, right. you'll you'll find a lot of things you know uh, out and maybe uh, hopefully that you will want to have affiliation, but you might not. I have a um, request out there for someone who can really come in and, and teach us some good networking, uh, good. good networking skills because I've seen those people who have shown up at the networking events and they're just. They're just slamming their their business yeah. cards in my face, and they just have a horrible reputation from then on. But just be a good person, go and listen. Yeah, and check them out. Check them out. All right, we'll be uh, we'll be right back here uh, with uh, Mr. Alan York.